newfound alien to come out with like you know 3,000 HP and does you know 30 damage per hit and attacks five times per turn or something like that. This is the final chamber in here. So let's stack them up. For, you know, the final countdown and all that. Slow as molasses, Tank Lopez. All right, well, wait, can we can we not go through here or something? Okay. Well, that's not good. Okay, for some reason we can't get into the final chamber. Which is no fun. I wonder if that's because we've yet to kill all the aliens or something. I don't know. Let's, uh figures this shit out and I'll be right back. Oh, oh. Okay. Well, I had to kill uh uh that muton, remember that I might control and controlled and sent away. Yeah, he had to die. But uh once that was done, these guys spawned in. So let's murder them. We will uh, murder them good. Yeah, he's murdered good. Um, you know what? Actually, X-ray neutralized. Did they spawn in any more guys? I have no idea. We still can't advance though. So yeah, I had to send this guy all the way back. But if there are more aliens, hopefully they will come to Oh, wait, never mind. We can go forward. Okay. Uh well, in that case 
just have to end the turn and bring everybody uh, up to speed. Right, put everybody back in their places. Bring this guy all the way back. He'll make it though. There we go. Just about there. Yeah, I'm glad there's no turn. Uh, turn limit or anything like that. Okay, so now final advance. Here we go. Get in there. Nothing. There's no big. That. Okay. Well. Oh, I forgot to um, reload everybody's weapons. Oh yeah. Oh, oops. Well, block the door. Ready to rock. Okay, still nothing. Time to kick nope. this sucker off. Okay, so what lies ahead? Alright, so... Mind control him.
Did, did that even do anything? No. But... <laughs> wow. We might be able to finish this guy off right here, right now. I don't know, but I guess we'll find out. Okay, well, I think we're locked in the same pattern where, I don't know, I thought uh, the mind controlled muton would be more effective. Rock and roll. Back online. So, I don't know, let's have him kill himself, because that's what he's good at. Okay, well... Oh no! have to sacrifice Will Wilson. What the hell is happening? The ship itself is behaving like a dying star. Becoming a black hole. That's not good. At this distance, the earth will be consumed. She doesn't sound very uh concerned about it. You have to stop it, Will Wilson. It's all up to you! Central! I'm bugging out! The package is not on board! I waited as long as I could, sir. Sir! The alien ship is in motion. What direction? What direction? Up. Oh, it's Will Wilson. Oh no, he's gonna kill himself. <laughs> no!
well, we saved the Earth, but we had to make the ultimate sacrifice in order to do it. We had to sacrifice Will Wilson. So, I don't know if it was worth it. I don't, honestly, the entire population of humanity, Will Wilson. You know, I, I don't know. What's, uh... What's more, you know, what's more important? Man, that was tough. I didn't I didn't think we were gonna have to sacrifice Bill Wilson at the end, but uh and you know we had to. Alright, so what's our score? It took us a year to win. Apparently I finished it faster than most people. But other than that, looks like uh, things the playthrough is fairly standard. Although, apparently, I spent monumentally less money than everybody else. <laughs> or I earned less money, and then therefore spent less. But I wanna, I wanna look at the, uh... The wall. I wanna see, you know, who we sacrificed. We, but yeah, we saved the planet, but we had to make some heavy, heavy sacrifices. You know, we had to sacrifice that, uh, French guy. Whoever he was, um, had to sacrifice. Jesus, uh, I don't even remember. Schmidt, we had to sacrifice him. Um, of course, Prince of Macedon died in the struggle. We lost uh, the Canadian uh, Jenkins, which is really sad that we lost the one guy named Jenkins. Um, and of course, uh, we lost the person who hurts most of all. Will Wilson. You know, that's you know, I might I might cry myself to sleep tonight at the uh, the thought the thought of that I was I was telling people that there were two games that made me cry this year, and uh, they were Kato Shoujo and The Walking Dead, but now there are three. You know, because I don't know how. Mankind is supposed to continue to survive without Will Wilson. I just... I don't know. You know what, what are we gonna do? We're just... But I'm, I'm going to see if there's a, at the end, you know, we can we can get a, a look because I really want to see what his, Will Wilson's kill totals were, like how many missions he fought in and how many people he killed and and so on and so forth. But, uh, you know, to uh, Will Wilson's family, you know, your sacrifice was the ultimate one. He will never ever be forgotten. He is truly man mankind's greatest specimen and the greatest example of a human being that has ever walked the face of the earth. But all in all though, XCOM was an awesome game. I was not, on honestly, uh, I thought it would be good. I didn't think it would be this good. I thought it was you know, fantastic. Uh, definitely in the running for uh, my game of the year this year. Almost certainly, and I, I, you know, think it might be uh, the best strategy game released this year. You know, if uh, the the one I'm really weighing it against uh, to be uh, to which would be the best strategy game this year is uh, Crusader Kings 2, and uh, it's it's a really tough choice because they're both really awesome.
but uh, I've already forgotten the names of our um, main cast. Uh, the German guy and the other guy and the Asian guy uh, or the German girl, I mean. But, you know, the names like uh, Scarecrow and, you know, Vargas or Tank or a Russian sniper, you know, or Tommy Ivanov. Those those names will remain with me forever, but uh, you know, not the main characters. Apparently, apparently they were not very important or noteworthy, or rather. Well, I really hope they produce uh, a sequel to this game. You know, because even though I did, I mean, I don't know if they really could, because it would be like, oh. The aliens are back again. Here they are. Oh, but the, no, but I'm sure they could do something. Maybe some cool DLC. Uh, with the, uh, you know, be in in the uh, in the making. Who knows? But I definitely am hungering for more XCOM. And if people uh, want me to, I will totally, you know, play through another game on a higher difficulty. What I really wish I had done, like when I started this, what I want, what well, I had this idea, like partway through the Let's Play of XCOM, and you know, by then it was too late to shift gears. But what I wanted to do is take all my squaddies and name them after uh, politicians, and make them try and try and make them look like the politicians they represent, and then give them catchphrases like. Uh, you know, I'd have Obama, and he'd come in and be like, "Here's your Obamacare," and you know, shoot an alien in the face or something like that. I don't know. Uh, but I wish he had started <laughs> with that idea. But uh, it, yeah, it came in a little bit too late for me to shift gears. Man, this is a uh, quite the. Uh, epic credit list. There's Wilson Shepard. That's a good name. I like it. And Luke Williams. But I will say the ending was a little bit underwhelming in terms of the final the final mission. I hoped it would be harder, I guess. It didn't seem like it was that difficult to really complete. And I mean, we killed one guy, a Russian sniper, took out the final boss in two shots. Because he had double... Well, literally in one turn, because he had double tap. And it, you know, fired twice. And killed him, killed him good. And when we killed him, all of his buddies died. And then... <laughs> The final, because we mind controlled uh, one of his guards, he kind of meandered about for a little bit until eventually mind control wore it off or wore off, and then he instantly died, and then the mission was over, which is kind of weird. Got a new phone. Wait, I got a Samsung Galaxy S3, and it's pretty. It's pretty good. I finally uh, switched from Android. Or sorry, from first I owned a BlackBerry, and then I switched to iOS. You know, an iPhone, and now I finally switched to Android. And I gotta say, I'm really liking a lot of the features that the Android uh, operating system has to offer, mainly because it's more, far, far more uh, open than uh, the iOS system. And yeah, the phone to have now is virtually like a uh, a laptop. Or well, I mean, it I can do just about anything on this phone that I could do on my computer, which is kind of crazy, except for things like play high-end games and process and edit videos. But what's really nice is uh, things like there's a direct torrenting capability. There's a uTorrent application. So if I want uh, 
you know, to take something off uh, unnamed pirate sites, uh, I can just go, you know, go there and download the torrent and it'll torrent it all on my phone and, you know, it's all good to go, which is incredibly cool and useful. So yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying it. Now, now I've finally had the, the chance to really check out all the different phone operating systems. I gotta say, uh, I think Android's probably the best from uh, from my brief time with it. Maybe give give me a little bit more. Give me give me some more months to really play around with it. But my initial impressions are I like what I see. Man, live. This is really going on. Okay, well, I'm, I'm gonna, you know, shut off recording and then we'll be back when uh, the credit's over. Oh, I think we're just about done. Alright, let's see. Do we get anything cool? Nope, we just get <laughs> thrown back to the opening screen. But with that, though, I definitely want to thank you guys for watching our Let's Play of XCOM. This has been Joseph Fizwana with Stalin, signing off for now, and I'll see you guys later.